Hey guys, it's Jackie here, okay? I'm Bambi Cutie, or the artist formerly known as Bambi Cutie. I just wanted to make a quick update video because I know I kind of fell off the face of the earth, and I wanted to know, um, I wanted to let you guys know that I've seen, um, your posts and, um, your emails, uh, just checking in, so I wanted to give you guys an update and let you guys know that I am doing great. Um, I've just had a lot of stuff going on, um, the last video I posted was about my hair. Um, clearly my hair, it's thinned out, but it's not um, horrible, like I'm not bald or anything. And it's, uh, the shedding's actually decreasing, so that's a good thing. Um, I Let me give you the numbers very quickly and then I'll go into the story. I started my weight loss journey back in the day. I had lap band first. Um, when I had lap band, I was around 230. Um, I got down to 157. Uh, multiple slips, multiple issues, the band came out. Fast forward three years later, I had revision surgery to the sleeve. Um, when I first went to the doctor, I was about 223. Day of surgery was 201. And I'm coming in between uh, 161 to 164, um, the highest 165. So I've uh, been, basically the way my weight loss surgery journey has gone is that um, I lose a chunk of weight, right? Um, I lost about 20 pounds within the first uh, two weeks. And then, um, you know, it's been steady, but it's slowly progressing um, that I'm losing weight. So I've gone from, um, you know, 223 to about 161. So that's uh, 40, about 60 pounds. And I was uh, uh, revised in a March, March 17th. So, um, you know, that's going on, I don't even know the math, March. Uh, April, May, June, July, August, September. So six months. So that's about 10 pounds a month, um, which is great. Um, I know I've been a little frustrated because I feel like I should I should lose more, but my body, the way it goes, is that I lose a chunk, I stall, I lose a chunk, I stall. So um, every couple <laughs> every couple of weeks, um, the number stays the same, and then something happens, and I lose about three to six pounds. So I'm okay with that because you know my body is adjusting to the surgery, and I'm a very little person. I'm only five feet tall. Um, my measurements are speaking for themselves, and I'll do a full update video once my computer is up and running. But um, oh, that's that's where I get into the story. <laughs> but yeah, I've been doing I've been doing okay. I've been um, sick quite a bit, um, upper respiratory stuff. Um, you know, I, I I've always had issues with getting sick, but I feel, um, you know, ever since surgery, you know, it, it's a huge, uh, impact on your body. So your immune system is bouncing back and I've been, um, sick more often than not. And it like knocks me out for two, three weeks at a time. Um, you know, I got sick the beginning or the end of July, um, beginning of August. And then <clears throat> I was fine. I went on vacation to Mexico. Um, and then I came back and I got sick again, and I've been sick now for about two weeks. Um, of course, in Jersey, I think it's a lot of like allergies going on um, and sinus stuff, but I tend to lose my voice. And most of you guys know, or I hope all of you guys know, that I'm a therapist, so talking is what I do. And when I can't talk, it makes my life very difficult. Um, another uh, update before I get into the story of where have I been. Um, you know, as most of you guys know from a couple of videos back, I uh, was leaving my job at the hospital and I got a job at private practice. Um, what happened was during that time, you know, I had to give a one month notice because it's a clinical position. Um, they had counter offered and I got offered another job with more pay um, and a stability because I know most of you guys know that I was worried about the um, 401k insurance and stuff like that. Um, insurance plays a big deal in this because I get sick a lot. And, um, you know, I have asthma, I was pre-diabetic, and I've been trying to have kids. So I, I was, that was weighing heavily on my heart. And I love the work I do at private practice. I haven't left it. Um, I actually went there part-time instead of full-time, and I took this counter offer. So um, that's another reason why it's been a little crazy. As you guys saw in my videos, I've been uh, before I was doing videos on my cell phone in my office. Um, so here goes the story. My um, family was going through some things with my father. Um, and when a little family crisis like that happens, I tend to withdraw and focus all my attention on work and family. So, um, there was a lot of stuff going on with my dad. I'm not going to get into the personal details, but it was, it was severe enough that I needed to take a step back from everything else. Um, basically it was my family and my boyfriend and work. Those were my only sources of support and it was, 
it was tough. Um, it was a, a hard couple of months, and I'm glad to say that things are finally looking a little bit better. Um, but it's it was pretty bad, and it was to the point where my anxiety. Um, I you know I'm a therapist, and I can teach people how to cope with their own anxiety and their own issues, and you know do well with that. But my anxiety was going all over the place um, to the point where now I'm meeting with someone to talk about these things, which isn't totally normal because. Um, you know, I not only take on my burdens, but talking to people and working with people, I take on their burdens as well. So learning to talk about those things and let it go, let it go. Sorry, Disney. Um, so yeah, there was a lot of stuff going on with my dad. And then on top of that, my aunt had surgery. So again, you know, it was just mayhem after mayhem. Um, you know, it, it was tough and it was, it was very, very, very difficult, um, you know, to, to be able to go to work and then go to my aunt's house to look after her. Um, and I, you know, my mom did a bulk of that work. So while she was there, I was home doing a bulk of the family stuff for, for my house. Um, and I was taking care of the dogs, doing laundry, helping my dad, making sure that there was like some sort of meal. My dad would end up going to my aunt's house, but um, you know, she, it was, it was all encompassing. And you know, it took six weeks um, to be able to get her up and moving. And she's healed, um, but it was just crazy. And then after that, my goddaughter turned one. <laughs> so, um, you know, helping with those festivities. It's just been a heck of a couple of months. I finally feel now that I'm just starting to catch my breath. And I attribute that a lot to my new job because my new job isn't as crazy and hectic as um, my old job is. I actually have time to do my work and breathe. And, um, you know, it's been a difficult adjustment, but I have been doing very well. So I just wanted to come on here and give you guys that quick update. Oh, on top of that, my computer, um, I, I, if, if you guys know, or if you guys have seen, I like to edit my videos. I don't like just putting raw content out there through a cell phone or through, um, an iPad unless it's a means to an end. So, um, you know, I had filmed, um, a couple of videos for you guys. One, my nutritionist video and uh, her recommendations for people who have had weight loss surgery. And then I filmed um, two different cheeseburger, homemade cheeseburger recipes. And, you know, I, I like to edit my videos, but my iMovie stopped working. Um, and then after that, I lost my camera for a bit. Um, you know, with life being so crazy, my room is a hot mess. I'm glad I'm not. I'm in the dark so you guys can't see it. Um, it's to the point where my boyfriend's like, babe, you gotta do something about your room. <laughs> I know TMI. It's pretty bad. But, um, you know, I just, I found my camera the other day, but I'm trying to get my iMovie to work. A lot of it is, is that my computer is really, really old. I've dropped it a couple of times. I've had my computer for uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So about five years. And, you know, it's a Mac, so it's not as bad as like a Windows PC where, you know, if you drop this, the thing, it'll, it'll like die on you. So it's survived quite a bit, but it's very slow. And every time I try to do something, it sounds like it's taking off, but I don't want to buy a new computer just to edit videos. So, um, you know, I've been trying to figure out how to do some other things. Of course, there's iMovie on the iPad and stuff like that, but I don't know how to use it. So, you know, dad being sick, me being sick. Well, he wasn't sick, but dad having issues, me being sick, my aunt having surgery, um, transitioning from one job to another having uh, now three jobs instead of two. Um, you know, I still work in the ER on the weekends, but that's only two uh, two nights a month, so I don't really consider that a job, it's just extra money. Um, you know, doing that and trying to get my life together has been hell. But the good news is, is that I'm back, and um, you know, I'm gonna have my boyfriend finally look at my iMovie, see if he can, um, you know, fix the computer for me, because <laughs> I can't afford a new one. Um, if not, I'll just keep making videos on my iPad if you guys are okay with that for now. Um, I definitely want to get those other videos up there because they're so good. Well, I think they were, <laughs> they were good. You know, I'm special. So, um, that's that's what's been going on. So, I wanted you guys to have that quick update. Um, with my schedule now, I do have Sundays off. So, my uh, new uh, video day, I think I said my new video, my food days were going to be on Sunday. And my last, 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 last video. But um, I'm going to start just posting uh, videos on Sunday or filming on Sunday and posting them throughout the week because now I do have more time. And um, I can truly say I missed you guys. I haven't even had, um, if you, I have two YouTube accounts. One for just like plain old um, videos and music videos and stuff like that. One that I created back in high school. And then my uh, weight loss surgery. And I have cues upon cues upon cues of videos to catch up with. Because it was to the point where I would come home and I would literally just go to sleep. Because I had to go to work. Um, you know, I, I didn't watch TV. I didn't watch videos. I would come home and pass out. 
Um, and it's been like that for some time now. And uh, I am starting to get um, life a little bit back together, and that's awesome. I also wanted to uh, let you guys know that, um, you know, I've had polycystic ovaries. Um, this is big news. I'm, I'm, I don't know if my boyfriend wants me sharing this, but I'm trying to have a baby. Um, you know, I've lost a chunk of weight, so, um, you know, hopefully... I will be able to document that journey and um, with that being said I've also started doing more aesthetic things um, to myself um, I started getting electrolysis which I want to see if my um, electrolysis will be okay with um, me filming um, because uh, I've been doing electrolysis for the some of the symptoms of polycystic ovaries you really can't tell right now because this video is horrible quality and that's why I hate um, not being able to edit videos but um, I love you guys this is where I've been um, Oh, did I also say I went on vacation? And yeah, I went on vacation. Um, and I, I took the step to say uh, more self-care for me. So I went on vacation. And now I'm back. And this is where I've been. I also wanted to say thank you to Dixie um, for checking in on me. Uh, your package is in the mail. So yay. And um, uh, I love you guys. And oh, that goes for you too, Chris. Your package is in the Oh, Christopher. Your package is in the mail. Um, I love you guys. Uh, thank you for checking in on me. Uh, hopefully I can get this video up and my internet doesn't give me issues. And I will talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye.